Let's take a look at our 60 minute chart of the S&P 500, uh, where we look at the gray area being the overnight trading and the white area being the area of trading during the session. And man, I, uh, your eye has to go all the way to this side over here, where the market is just exploding to the upside. Monday saw that pipe bomb explode in New York City, the uh, Port Authority, and that bus, bus terminal. The market before the opening uh, took a hit, but then uh, Apple moves up over $3 and acquires Shazam. Uh, and that drove the, NAS, the NASDAQ to the upside Monday. Tuesday overnight was quiet, but then we got a, a rally in here as the markets were uh, waiting for the Alabama results and the FOMC meeting on Wednesday. You see we had a weak close over here on uh, Tuesday. Uh, here was the news in here that uh, Jones won uh, more. He didn't want to uh, concede that and still hasn't. Uh, and then overnight, the market started to recover. And uh, news came out about inflation. Core inflation was soft, even though the headline was up four-tenths of a percent. Bonds had a rally, and of course, the dollar dipped when bonds rallied. So now the news comes out that they have a tax plan deal, and then it was kind of sell the news. You see this? Uh, and then the FOM MC came out and you know they raised a quarter point which was in line talked about growth being stronger but inflation being lower and overall this was another dovish meeting surprisingly you had a soft close you see that big decline right over there on Thursday well retail sales came out stronger before the opening you had a little blip but here the Russell really started to get weak it was if they were rethinking that tax plan and well uh, are we really gonna uh, is is this tax plan really going to benefit uh, the um, smaller cap stock. So you got this huge sell-off that came in here on Thursday, but then Friday they started anticipating the tax bill being unveiled, uh, and then they were playing with the numbers and increased the child tax credit. The rumor was Marco Rubio, Marco Rubio was now a yes vote, and uh, that brought the market up. And the stock market is soaring here on Friday uh, with the S&P 500, uh, as I do this with just about two hours to go in the day, uh, up now a, a very close to 1%. The future's now up about 24 points on the upside on this very strong day that you can see in there. So that uh, is a look at the 60 minute chart of the S&P 500. Here is 2016 and 2017 in the weekly S&P 500. So you can see in here that there is uh, clearly an uptrend, right? Well, how strong is that uptrend? For the two-year period, it's up a total of 47%, coming from just over 1,800 in the S&P 500 over here on the low up to uh, th this level up here of 2678. So this monstrous move. What's really interesting about these years, I mean, these are two years back to back like we have almost never seen with this kind of gain. Now, for, for 2017, which is the ninth year of the bull market, 2016 the eighth, um, we have had barely a dip. You had a tiny little dip right over here in the middle. I want you to note the cyclical patterns, and that is, th this is the ideal cycle pattern right in here. Now, if you put the channel over the ideal, then you get the upward trend, and you can see the perfect upward movement in here as these cycles just lay out almost perfectly. Each of those lows in there, about 19 or 20 weeks apart, we are now seven 17 weeks into that rally and there you could see those beautiful cycles that you have in there that calls for a decline over the next two three weeks you can see that right there as it's projected and uh, this is just one amazing year uh, that we have looked at in here I mean uh, we rarely get cases of uh, n barely no declines whatsoever this is the nightmare for the short side traders or for cyclic analysts like me who look for corrective periods to bring deeper declines Declines, you can see right in here, well, this one brought 306 points in that decline in the S&P 500. This one over here brought 129 points. This brought 110 points. And then it got.
got you know less volatile and less volatile. The only correction in this entire year of any consequence were these two, and one was 78 points on the S&P 500, and one was 70 points. So incredible situation in here where we've had this massive upside move uh, in the market with almost no volatility, and you could see five very clear cycle patterns in there over these last two years, eighth year eight and year nine of this incredible upside move in this market. So, uh, you know, it's been, you know, this uh, uh, a year that we're in now, it's been about 22 years since we've seen a year, uh, anything uh, like this, uh, back to about 1995. Uh, with no corrective phases that are 3%. Uh, it's fantastic, and it certainly makes the analysis tough. Short-term circle patterns, to me, are the hardest of all, and much more consistencies you saw in those weekly patterns. Throughout the show, I showed you a ton of them, S&P 500 and all of those stocks. So if you want those on your Thinkorswim platform, make sure you let me know, and I'll send you that half-price special. All right, so uh, let's take a look at the stock market. Um, I thought that the stock market would f would fall and then recover. Uh, unfortunately, I thought it would test 26.37 and then have a small recovery. It didn't get down that low, and what it did was then had a giant recovery and then went to a new high. I get no credit for that whatsoever in the S&P 500. Let's take a look at this uh, SPX pattern, which uh, just keeps uh, grinding to the upside. And uh, I, it seems like uh, every time I do these um, charts and send them to my uh, members uh, comes uh, the end of the week, uh, then I need to revise them because they keep taking out the highs and all the numbers then change. Here you can see in here that it is made a new high, 26.79. Our anticipation was that it would fall harder into this zone over here and then rally like this. That's what we were following is these patterns right in here. And you can see that, well, that brought only a minor dip and then a much stronger rally. So again, we have a, a bearish bias and not following our momentum patterns, which you can see just plain out have been positive this whole way. That's the slim ribbon. It's been screaming positive, well, seemingly forever. So uh, that is uh, a look at what's happened. And you can see that what we're looking for is for it to roll over. I showed you so many stocks that look like they're going to fall and bottom into this period right in here. The first uh, week or two of the year, that's why we believe this is rolling over and that sometime in these next three weeks, there's going to be some solid downward action in there. And that's what we're going to call over these next uh, three weeks down uh, for that period in what would probably be another very modest overall correction. Uh, in the in the stock market that just is massively being bought. I hope you enjoyed that video. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also go to AskSlim.com and become a Level 1 member. No cost to you and we have some special videos for you to see. I know you'll enjoy them. Don't you